Greetings everybody. Welcome back to the landscape. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today the weather is, it's not disagreeable, but it's not exactly wild either. It's hammering it down with rain overnight and we've just got persistent low drizzle. You can hear it on the canopy above. So I've got low contrast conditions because of the cloud cover and any landscaper worth their salt will know that this is perfect woodland weather or uh, any kind of subject where you're not going to get deep shadows and you know bright highlights and because of the weather conditions and the fact that there's actually not a huge amount of wind everything is very very still And all I, I mean, it's not going to come across on camera, but all I can hear is the very soft rain up above hitting the canopy. And then obviously you've got leaves uh, collecting uh, the precipitation and then that's dripping onto leaves below and so on and so on. And that notion of soft rain, of water collecting on the vegetation and then, uh, and then dripping, has been rolling around in my head. I've probably been in this woodland now for, oh, I don't know, I'd say a good two hours, at least a good two hours. Uh, and I've actually been photographing, uh, photo photographing? <laughs> I've actually been photographing uh, autumn color uh, because there are patches of this woodland where uh, autumn is quite prevalent, but I've, found a particular twig with a collection of leaves on it and this isn't the first subject that I've chosen that exhibits this quality but it's the first one that I found that I would say really works from a composition point of view in 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 terms of really clearly communicating what it is that I'm actually experiencing which is of course why I choose to be out with the camera in the first place. So I'm going to try and arrange the video camera to look at the LCD and, and, I'll, and I'll talk you through the decisions that I've made. Right, so here is the back of my Sigma FPL. Uh, and there's my leaf. Uh, now it's not at its best uh, at the moment uh, because when I first looked at this leaf, I actually had lots of uh, droplets of water hanging off uh, each of the leaves. In fact, if I can call up the image, was that the one that I took to begin with? doesn't really come across on that screen, but there you go, look, autumn colour. But when I first got here, there were lots and lots of droplets uh, on each of those leaves. And I'm, you know, I'm stood under the canopy. I can, I could stand here for the rest of the afternoon if I chose and wait for these little jewels to gather on each of these leaves before uh, creating the, the image that I want to create. Now what I like about this particular uh, scene is that A, I've got a subject that drapes through the frame in a slightly diagonal manner, so I'm actually filling the frame uh, with interest. Uh, additionally, I've got some autumn colour behind it, so I'm putting across that notion of what season of the year we are in and there's a contrast isn't there between the green of uh, this uh, little branch with its leaves and then what's going on uh, behind it so I'm informing the viewer about kind of where I am and maybe what season I'm in. Damn auto camera shutdown. In terms of uh, focus I mean there isn't much depth of focus uh, here so where did I focus? I think I focused on that big leaf that one there, uh, which I'm just going to re-manually focus because I've moved the camera. There we go, something like that. There we go, nice and sharp. And then I've selected f6.3. Just by looking at the branch, it looks as if it, what's the word, I'm, it moves away from me. So this portion here is slightly closer to the camera than this portion. So I need a little bit of depth, otherwise 
well, otherwise it's just not going to work. And I've enabled the depth of field preview, which enables me to just check that uh, A, I've made the right decision, but also I don't get too much of the background. And I think what I might actually do, now I'm standing here talking about it, is I might take an image at F4 and then I'll take another one at 5663, something like that. And then when I get home, I'll con uh, compare and contrast because uh, I'll be able to see it on the big screen and be really critical and make sure that that you know, depth of focus decision is the right one. Uh, in terms of exposure, I could actually bring the exposure up a bit actually because the histogram's pretty good. There we go. That's from when I was last playing. So yeah, that'll do. And yeah, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait until, in fact, the, the rain has started again and it's uh, quite persistent now. I'm just going to wait for some uh, other droplets to appear on these leaves because it, it will happen that the leaves will collect moisture and eventually I will get droplets. I mean, it'd be lovely to have a droplet on this one here. I'm not in any rush. You know, I, like I say, I could stay here all afternoon uh, if I choose. I probably won't. But that's, that's the idea that I had rolling around in my head. And I've talked a lot about, on other videos, about how I try to find a subject that communicates how I feel about the place that I'm in or, or what is it that I'm experiencing. And this subject here just does it perfectly. It's capturing the fact that there's moisture in the air. It captures the fact that autumn is on its way. And it also captures the fact that there's quite a bit of green around at the moment. Those are three things that I am experiencing right now. Therefore, I have a subject that, you know, I found a subject that portrays those three things. It's a personal choice at the end of the day, guys, but I tell you what, it don't half work for me. Right, I am now going to wait and see whether I can get some interesting droplets appearing on our little branch. So as is typical <laughs> for this part of the UK, no sooner had I started to take pictures, the heavens have opened. And unfortunately that has worked against me because now the heavier raindrops are actually battering the, uh, the little twigs and anything that's collected on them is getting shook off. But, you know, by the by, I still carried on taking pictures, clearly with the change in weather conditions, now we've got driving rain as opposed to soft drizzle. Try to capture that quality if I can. Whether it works or not, we'll find out. Another couple of um, uh, technical aspects just to touch on very quickly. I have uh, increased the ISO quite considerably. I think it was about 1250. That's because the branches were gently moving ever so slightly. So thumping up the ISO gave me a faster shutter speed, far more likely to therefore you know, get a sharp image. And also, I know lots of landscapers like to use a polarizer in conditions like this. However, a polarizer and a long lens hood isn't exactly a particularly convenient combination because you've got to kind of reach your finger inside the lens hood in order to adjust, in order to adjust it. So I chose to do without it and just try and angle myself such that any glare coming off the leaves was at the absolute minimum. Right, so I'm going to have to cut this video here because it really is chucking it down. I'm not worried about my camera, I'm worried about the video camera. 
because uh, it's a little Osmo pocket and I don't think the Osmo pocket is particularly weatherproof. So thanks very much for watching. Hope it's been interesting and inspirational. Be interested to know how you deal with conditions like this. So please leave a comment uh, below. As usual, guys, like and subscribe. And as ever, I'm very grateful to you for your support. So until the next one, hopefully in drier conditions, take care, stay well and stay safe. See you again soon. Take care now. Yeah. <laughs>